Hi, welcome. We are going to start with the tutorials of BSP WM, which is quite interesting uh, uh, Windows tiling manager. So if you are familiar with i3 already or awesome, that's more or less what it is. It tiles your applications, but it does that in a very efficient way and you don't need to read that much. The configuration is rather small. Now, we are going to start with um, making a new template. So if you have seen this before, you can skip ahead in the video, but I think it's sometimes interesting to have a repetition, you know. So we're going to install Arco Linux with a D because this is building up from scratch and then uh, setting everything right. 16 gigabytes will be divided more or less in half. And we're going to create a hard disk. I, I know already that 30 gigabytes is more than enough for my installations. Then I go into the settings and I tell I have more cores than you think I have. So I'm going to say use half of my cores for, for uh, this BSP WM. And in the display, I give also more or less half. Okay, you can enable 3D the acceleration. Don't think it matters that much. Now I have this this template, so I'm gonna settings. I'm gonna name it like that. This is just an empty template with nothing in it, and then I'm gonna clone this, so I can make as many clones as I want for for this. Um, uh, well, the, the settings can be cloned. Uh, Two, for instance. BSP WM later for cinnamon and so on and so on or you can uh, make first the installation of the ISO and then clone it it's all up to you so we need a download and let me check if I have one okay no problem it's in the download so optical drive choose disk image you go to SourceForge and you get the latest one downloads where did I see it? Was it in documents? Documents. So to make it a little bit bigger, we can make it a little bit bigger. So 6.7.1, I want actually to make this bigger. So this is the big one, two gigabytes. This is one gigabyte. That's the Arch Linux D. You want to have the BSP WM. So, okay, that's loaded up and then we start it. It's on the other screen, so maximize it. Control F for full screen, and we start booting. There are tutorials about how to install Arch Linux D, so if you saw that already, you can skip ahead again. It's always the same thing, your language, where you live, the keyboard you like, I have to change to Azerty. And then erase disk, let him do the work, and it's going to make a partition for root and one for swap. And we are not in UEFI, but in, in grub mode, in, in uh, MS DOS mode. So that's good. And then we type in our names. This is Arco Linux with a D. And I log in, in automatically, but you know, of course. There is nothing to log into. This is Arch Linux D. This is based on, uh, well, starting from a base installation of uh, Arch Linux, which means you end up in a terminal. And then we get our, our scripts from GitHub and we install everything. And then of course, it's our intention that you change those uh, scripts and you say, I don't want Firefox, I do want Steam, I don't, I do want Zoom, I don't want, I don't know, Google Chrome, I don't want this, I don't want that, and I will add that and that software. So the scripts are, let's say, 80% ready, and you switch around the applications or the settings, or you don't want Samba, you don't install Samba, that's simple. Don't want Bluetooth, don't run the scripts for the Bluetooth, etc. So it's still your machine. Uh, you decide what software you want and what services you want and uh, that will be that. I'm gonna shut up now and take a break. Let's pause the video here. Okay, installation is complete. So, um, either you say restart now, which is maybe 
uh, not so interesting maybe you should better shut down I'll show you why then I can click here and say bye bye ISO so we're actually going to boot from the hard disk virtual hard disk so that's that this is phase one install Arch Linux D you log in you type and then you say mirror password and then our almighty command you know it's an alias you just type alias in the terminal you see what it is it's here with some settings which is too long to remember that's why we use aliases in Linux so I'm gonna finish our video here and got cut it here upload this part of the video I am gonna however sudo reboot because I see a Linux kernel 4.16.6 in there so that's great we have a new kernel but when I see that I'll immediately reboot so that this kernel is applied so that'll be that and we'll continue installing BSPWM.